I want you to go on your calculator, pull out your calculator, and graph the function f of x equals x squared. What are we graphing? f of x equals x squared. I want you to graph f of x equals x squared and kind of ignore this last line here for a moment. Then graph f of x equals x squared plus 3. What happens to the graph? Am I standing in front of it? Of course it's displayed right here, isn't it? <laughs> what happens to that graph when you do plus 3 on the end? It moves up. 3 units. Notice that this 3 is not part of what gets squared. So I think of this as being outside the function. So if I have my function and then I add a number to it, if that number is bigger than 0, then I'm going to move or make a vertical shift up or upward by whatever number this is, C units. What, do you, what happened if it was f of x, um, x squared minus 3? What would happen? It would, it would go below. It would go down. Still outside. It's still outside the function, so it's a vertical thing, but it would go down because I'm subtracting a positive number, subtracting 3. What do you think it takes to go left and right? If outside the function goes up and down, what do you think happens when you go left and right? Where does left and right have to take be? Inside the function. So how would that look? Well, in this case, for instance, if we have our original function is x squared, and inside what is being squared, we do x plus 3 squared. That's inside the function. What does that do to your graph? Go ahead and look and tell me. I know what it says up there. Look on the graph. I'm going to go left. It moves it left. Now, once upon a time, I tried to sit up here and explain why it's going left when you do plus. And I did this for several semesters, and every time, I got these very blank looks. So I'm going with this now. It goes, in, once it's inside the function, it does the opposite of what you think it ought to do. You think of positive as being to the right, well, plus moves you left when you're inside the function. So what do you think minus must do? Move you right. Move you right. So if you have an x minus 3 quantity squared, then you're going to have a horizontal shift to the right. <coughs> So here is a generic or an overall view of what happens in just shifting left, right, up, and down. And this is why if you need to get to any of these, you don't have to write them all down now. You can always get to this because these are still available on the web forever and ever. Okay. F of x plus c is vertical. These you notice are both outside the function. These are both inside the function. Inside the function does things to the horizontalness. And outside the function changes the vertical things. <laughs>